Sapphire in the Kappa Workstation. Getting started. The following provides a general workflow overview. In a short video, it is not possible to show all the available options and parameter values. Please refer to the help for more detailed information. We start Sapphire from the Kappa Workstation Launcher. On the left are several options to start an analysis. The default is new and recent. Here we can start a new analysis from scratch, or select a template. A template is a file containing the basic reservoir and PVT data based on a previous analysis that was saved as a template. On the lower part of the screen, we have a list of recent used documents and folders. The Open option opens a Sapphire file from any location. The Main Doc options contain data specific for this document. Settings define all defaults for any new document. Clicking on Settings. At the top are the default oil field units. We can change a parameter unit by selecting an alternative from the drop-down list and saving our updated unit system by clicking Save As. This file can then be shared with others. We can select any of the predefined unit systems under the Load button or, alternatively, load from the file. These are the default settings. However, we can always change the units for a specific document in Main Doc options. Currently, there is only the Russian language as an alternative. We advise only changing to Russian if your Microsoft Windows is also a Russian version. Moving now to the Interface option. The significant figures define the position of the parameter values in the interface and output. Incidentally, internally we use much higher precision. We can set the number of undos in the model's undo-redo to a maximum of 5. Please note that increasing this value will result in the program using more RAM. The appearance of the plots and parameters is changed in aspects. The slide mode changes the appearance of the plots for better copying and pasting into other programs such as Microsoft Word and PowerPoint. We use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl F6 to toggle this option for the layout. Slide mode may also be used when presenting live to a projector. Under load, we can change the default parameters for the loading of data versus time and depth. These are just the default values, and it is possible to adjust these during the data load itself. Next are the technical settings. Under Skin, we define the reference area for skin calculations. This is, by default, the net stratigraphic thickness of the reservoir, but this can be changed to reflect the type of well. Selecting the second option does not change any of the calculations for the skin, just the reported value in the results. The geometrical skin component will calculate the skin for certain well geometries in a single layer analysis. Refer to the help for more information about skin components and calculation. In critical parameters, we can highlight the use of default values in the analysis. It is recommended to select the second or third option to get a warning when we forget to enter a value. Sometimes we can get a warning in the output that we used a default value when in fact the parameter is correct or is not used at all. To avoid this unwarranted warning, we can select Ignore in Results. External models are special analytical models for complex wells, reservoirs, and boundaries. This library is constantly evolving. To use these, we must enter the folder where they are installed. This is by default C, Program Files, Kappa, Workstation 5.20, External Models. For more information, refer to the External Models video on the Kappa website. External pressure drop correlations are specialized correlations for nodal analysis and not normally used here in Sapphire. In results, we define the calculations for the Productivity Index, or PI, for the test. The real PI is the one from the test data. The ideal PI is calculated with skin equals zero. 
The flow efficiency is the ratio of the real and ideal productivity in DCs and the damage ratio is the inverse of the flow efficiency. We can select which reservoir pressure we will use in the PI analysis. The initial pressure PI can be used with any model. P average with the closed reservoir and P star and P at 72 hours in case we have a semi-logged straight line in our superposition plot. In default print setup, the output format and text may be adjusted. Finally, click OK to save the selections and return to the main start page.